everyone, it is New Year's Day and I am taking my daily walk with my dog, RC. So this camera footage is going to be a little shaky, I apologize in advance. I bought myself a little present for Christmas, it's a, um, like a fake GoPro. <clears throat> I didn't spend a lot of money on it. I got it on Amazon because I just wanted to like see if it's useful. I probably won't be doing a lot of action sports, but <laughs> I thought it might be useful um, because it's a little bit smaller and lighter to handle. I got it in, a, in yesterday, which was Sunday. I thought it was kind of weird, but I guess Amazon delivers on Sunday, which is kind of nice. So I haven't I, I kind of figured out how to use it. It's pretty simple. I haven't really used it yet, but I need to put together the attachments that go with it. That seems to be the only problem. And I don't know if I can do them by myself. So I might stop abruptly when this um, timer goes off on my regular camera. But anyway, I just I thought I'd do a quick video like everyone else's on New Year's resolutions. And I used to do this a lot. Every year I would write out my goals. Um, but I haven't done it for a long time since I haven't been feeling that well. I've um, been diagnosed with Parkinson's in case you don't know my story. It's been about two and a half years now. But I've actually probably had Parkinson's now that I know what it is for the past at least 20 years and I've been um, unmedicated so I've been able to do a lot actually <laughs> considering I probably did have Parkinson's so if you are younger just remember that that you might not need to um, actually do anything even though you have Parkinson's for quite a while and you have you know a, a long time Although I have seen other people that are younger go straight on the medication, and that's okay too. Don't feel bad about that. But anyway, as usual, I'm getting sidetracked. So real quickly, I don't think I can get through all my resolutions, but these are more health resolutions, what I'm going to work with this year. And I might turn this off because some people are showing up. Okay, here we go again. So yeah, these just have to do with my... Um, health and my Parkinson's. So my first one is that I'm definitely going to keep exercising and I'm going to step up the intensity of my exercise. I've um, recently read like two, two um, studies and they're both sort of saying that as we've heard the only thing that can stop the progression of Parkinson's is exercise and it has to be like a certain intensity we have to get our heart rates up but as you guys know it's very hard to get someone's heart rate up that has Parkinson's because we move very slow but I figure you know that since that's the only thing why not you know why not do it so I have been exercising quite a bit but a lot of times I don't feel that good so I've skipped you know some periods where I can't do my ballroom dancing or I can't go to the gym but have to try as best I can and like I said I need to step up the intensity now. Come on RC. Number two is that I'm going to test coconut oil. That's something that's pretty safe um, to use, and I kind of have been using a little bit of it. But um, there's a lot of people that it has helped that have new rheology. How do you say that? Neurological diseases, including Parkinson's. So I think it's something easy that I want to test. Um, thirdly, the thing that, that I want to test is the Ayurvedic herb that I always have trouble saying the name of so I'll attach maybe um, something in the description when I'm talking about um, but 
um, yeah, it's a herb which doesn't necessarily mean it's safe and it's an Ayurvedic herb that recently has been used for Parkinson's and um, I want to try it because I am a, a trained Ayurvedic practitioner so I'm going to start that actually I started that today I'm trying to think what else I had on my list Oh, one thing is that I definitely need to keep reducing my stress level because it definitely makes my Parkinson's a lot worse. So that's something I don't know. I mean, I've actually cut out a lot of things right now, but I have to keep going. Okay, so I'm back at my house. So it's probably I was talking now. about the flu and then I'm going to take it seriously. What I mean by that is that I have found, like most people, that the flu really like sets me back greatly. And I think it actually progresses my Parkinson's, but that's just my personal opinion. I always get the flu and then like after, I have like a month that I need to recover. And I could be like better as far as my flu, but not better as far as my Parkinson's. So um, next year, I'm going to get the flu shot as soon as they start talking about it. Because this year, I didn't get one. I had intended to get one, but, I t but by the time I finally took action, um, I had the flu. And I know that you can um, still take it after you get the flu. And that's what I'm still intending to do. Because I've heard that the flu is coming around again. And I think lastly, there's two other things um, real quickly. One is that I want to work on this channel and helping people more. I'm just not sure right now what to focus on as far as this channel and what videos to make. So if you guys could help me out, this is like the back area. Oh, there's some goats. You can help me out some and let me know what you're mostly interested in. If you've had Parkinson's a while or if you've just diagnosed, they're coming here because they know I feed them weeds, but I don't have any weeds today. There's about eight goats. I don't know where the rest of them are. Where's your buddies? Oh, this is the main goat, too. Hillary or Cher, I always forget. <laughs> I know it's the main goat. Of her collar. She's being very like passive. She's not usually like this. She's real protective of the other goats. Okay, well, I guess you can see I don't have any leaves. So, anyway, got sidetracked again. I was talking about the channel. Oh, and. gonna go back and let my dog in and then oh yeah then lastly the big thing is that I want to have fun this year because the last couple of years have just been really bad for me I got diagnosed with Parkinson's about like I said about two and a half years ago at the same time I I was like really bad and not on medication and even though I take medication I still have a lot of like ways the Parkinson's affects me and I think that's because I've actually probably had par Parkinson's for like I said for 20 years but um, I had to I had a business uh, like a holistic health business and I had to totally like shut that down really quickly because I just could not work on on other people I was actually doing services on people and I just couldn't do it so I had to close that down rather quickly because I, my customer base had dwindled just because I couldn't, like I said, physically work on them. Wow, this is really sunny for Portland, Oregon. And then the other thing that happened is that while I was closing my business down and moving, my stepfather unexpectedly died. So that was a huge thing. And I was in Oregon and him and my mother were in Michigan so there was no one to help my mother so my sister lives in Maryland so mostly my sister helped physically 
because I just didn't have the energy with having the Parkinson's. But um, my mother actually moved here because she really didn't have any family. My um, mother and my, not my stepfather, but my actual father, they're both from the Caribbean. They're from Trinidad. And then they moved to England, and that's where I grew up, in Collierswood, if anyone out there is British. So anyway, yeah, it's been those three things happened all at once, and it seems like for the past couple of years, my dog wants his food now. I've been dealing with it, so it has not been fun for the past two th to three years, so this year I just really want to work hard on, on making things different. I'm sure you guys have all had hard times during the past couple of years or last year also. Um, if you have and you feel like sharing, tell me about it in the comment box. Okay, I'm going to sign off because this video is getting very long. And yeah, hopefully we'll have fun together um, through my videos.